you guys know what's in this box? This box is your chance at happiness. You came in. We had we have some raffle prizes up here. You came in. If you put your name in here, you have the chance at some self-actualization through these prizes. So I'm going to take a few names out, and you guys are going to be able to pick out whatever the heck you want from this table. Our first winner is Aaron Gall. Aaron Gall, awesome. Come up and pick one thing out of anything up here. He takes the Lego dragon. And our next winner is Neil Cray? Croy. Neil Croy. Pick something out. Awesome. He takes Chips Ahoy. We're going to keep having raffles to this table is empty and we, so we don't have to have a garage sale this weekend. Anyway. Uh, coming up next is our first of several stand-up comedians uh, we have lined up tonight. Our first is named Jake Kryshek. He's a member of ABSO. So give it up. Come on. Come on. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Wow. I've been, uh, I'm from Muncie. Well, I live there now. And it's weird looking out at a crowd and, like, seeing hope on people's faces. <laughs> It's really, it's really interesting. But no, I'm, I'm glad school's starting up again because you get to see all these new freshmen and you know, they're, they're bright, they're happy. And I wish there was a blog somewhere out there that just, you know, took a picture of their face just every time one of their dreams has been crushed. <laughs> just until they join the rest of us and become a bunch of cynical, just jerks. And I mean, like, I mean, it sucks that they lose some of their dreams, but I mean, I'm, I'm still one of them. So what if I'm not in Chicago, doing comedy, getting paid, you know, making a lot of money? I get to be here, doing this for free. <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> yeah, speaking of living the dreams, I go to Ivy Tech. <laughs> it's, it's not what you think. I'm not a single parent, so... <laughs> no, I'm just a failure, so... <laughs> no, Ivy Tech's weird because like, when you're on a regular college campus, like Purdue or Ball State or whatever, like, you have normal people. But Ivy Tech, it's like this mystical land where, you know, the men have dip bottles, the ladies have beards, and just everyone has Down syndrome. I was at a, I was at a party a week back, and uh, it was a basement party. Some kid was coming down the stairs, and uh, he fell. And it was kind of funny, and so I laughed. And I mean, I tried to be discreet about it, but he saw. And he stands up, and pardon my language, everybody, but he stands up, looks at me, and goes, That's right, now you have a story to tell your friends tomorrow about how the faggot fell down the stairs. And it shocked me, because at no point before that did he get any indication he was gay. So he looked at me, saw me laughing, and just automatically assumed I laughed indiscriminately at gay people. It's messed up. I'm the bigot, apparently. Um, I was raised in a Catholic household, which uh, means that the two emotions that were appropriate to display were happiness and shame. And if you weren't really feeling enough of happiness, then you're probably feeling just enough shame. <laughs> no, uh, it, it was weird growing up because my, my parents, like most kids get traumatized by having like these weird incidents with your parents, but my parents never really gave me that even. Uh, I remember the first time I asked where babies came from, I woke up the next day with a book that said sex, everybody does it, and a note that said good luck. <laughs> And I mean, it, it, it's weird because in that respect, like, I, sex is weird for me. Like, I would much rather everyone here assume that I'm like a head floating in clothes around me and just no body whatsoever. Like, just don't, don't picture me naked. Just picture a head and nothing. I'd be a lot more comfortable. Um, no, and, and like, I know, I can't blame my parents for that because I have, I have my own like self-consciousness issues. Like uh, in kindergarten, 
a kid asked me what my favorite color was. I said chartreuse. <laughs> he called me a girl, and I've been lying and telling everyone it's green since. <laughs> Kids are mean. It's true. Like, it, you know how it's suddenly like it's cool to be a nerd now. Like, woo, uh, Harry Potter, Pokemon, all that stuff. Not when you're a kid. I was, I was that nerdy kid. Like, I had a Pokemon lunchbox. Some kid filled it with glue. I'm such a nerd, right? LOL. It's great. No, kids are, kids are so mean. But, but once you stop being a kid, they get really funny. So like, uh, the other day I was at a restaurant, and one door was open, propped open, so every other smart person knows the other door's probably locked, right? Kid comes up, just ignores the door that's open, and just pushes for about five minutes trying to open this locked door. And it's weird to see kids doing funny stuff as, as a 21-year-old man, because you can't smile and laugh at children with their parents around, especially if you have a mustache like me. And you, so if a kid does something funny and you're like, hey, 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 you can't, you can't do that. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, it's a little dim, but I do have a mustache. And when I started growing it, I intended to be like a manly thing, you know, like I was expecting to, uh, you know, start wearing more flannel and bulk up maybe a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, start chopping down trees and get a, get an ox named Babe and just be man. And that's not really how it worked out. Like, Mustache Jake doesn't go do any of that manly stuff. Mustache Jake roller skates to Freddie Mercury. Like, Mustache Jake like has Hall and Oates posters hanging up in his room. I mean, I guess, I guess I could hunt bears, but it's only going to be like men in mesh tank tops and like just covered in body hair. All right, um, that's my time. Coming up next from Indiana State, it's condiments upon request. Everybody, give it up for that. Hi, like you said, we're Condiments Mom Request, and we're all from Terre Haute, Indiana. We go to Indiana State University, and we're sorry. So, our first game of the night is called World's Worst. What it is, is you guys are going to give us an occupation, and we're all going to give you our version of that, of that World's Worst occupation. Not everyone's going to go, just whenever we feel the need. Uh, so can I get an occupation from you guys? Gynecologist! Gynecologist! <laughs> World's Worst Gynecologist! <laughs> Ma'am, this is the worst yeast infection I've ever seen. Whoa. However, I think this bread will win at the county fair. <laughs> is that your card? <laughs> that is your asshole. <laughs> I liked assembly line worker, that was interesting. Assembly line worker, world's worst. I'm not touching that, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, oh, my wedding ring! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, another occupation. Now for the morning news, my ass. <laughs> Alright, last occupation, last one. World's worst tutor. World's worst tutor. So, you want to study? <laughs> okay, now just remember the song I taught you. A, C, D, B, Scantron. 
So yeah, when the teacher's not look looking, that's when you pull out your phone and you just look up the answers. Really easy. <laughs> Alright, that's World's Worst. Thank you so much. And this involves Jimmy and Murphy, and Jaren will be a caller with me. Now the way that this game works is Jimmy and Murphy are in a situation. This is just any old ordinary situation that you would go through daily, like going to the bank or witnessing a murder or, you know, just the huge. And <laughs> as, the, as they go through this scene, Jaren and I are going to randomly call ape shit. I am Jimmy's caller and Jaren is Murphy's caller. Now, ape shit doesn't necessarily mean angry. It can mean angry, but it's just a really like loud emotion, like horny or kind of sad stuff. So can we get a situation? Disgruntled customer. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Disgruntled customer. Um, can I help you today, sir? Um, well, I had a late fee of uh, 25 cents, <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pay that. Um, I demand you take it off. Let me look it up on our computer. Let's see what movie you rented out. Ape shit. Um, yeah, you're gonna fucking pay that. <laughs> it's a fucking quarter! I'm sorry. Here, here, look, see, I, I don't look, appreciate- Quarter, that's a dime. I don't appreciate <laughs> talking- Quarter! Stop. Okay, okay, please, I, you just have to understand that. Here, do you um, want my quarter? No, I don't want your pity, I don't want your money, I just do not want to pay that. Why can't you just pay a quarter? Hey, shit! Uh, I will not pay this because I dropped that movie off two minutes after you closed! Sir, I'm going to have to ask you either to pay, hey, calm your ass down, or no, just No, no, no! Jake, see these movies? See them? See them? I hate them all! You know what? Oh. I want to see... You know what? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm come sorry. here. No, I'm no. Come here. Come I'm here, sorry. sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sir, I'll come here. Put come here. Up. Give me your wallet. No. Hey, give me your wallet. Uh, I, I don't have any money, What's so that's why on? I can't pay. Hey, Jay. What? Um, it is 279-373-3456! Hey, Good luck getting a car, asshole! God damn it! And that's the same shit! Yeah. So the next game we're going to play is called Spelling Bee. The way this works, we've got Corinne, Gino, and Joe, and they are going to spell words for you. They will spell it one letter at a time, and then use it in a sentence one word at a time. So what I need from you guys is a very simple three-letter word. Cat. <laughs> Cat. Cat. C. A. T. Cat. Cat. Tomorrow. I will take my cat to the veterinarian to get it killed. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Alright, that seemed a little bit too easy. Can we maybe get uh, four or five letter words? Table crash! I heard table first. <laughs> table. T. A. B. L. E. Table. Grandmother is old. So <laughs> she will eat all of her food off of the table. Table. <laughs> Can we get a word with maybe a couple syllables, two or three syllables? Hippopotamus. 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 H I P P O P. O N T A E S M Hippopotamus I went to the zoo and never found any children because all of the hippopotamuses <laughs> hid them. In <laughs> their closet. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Okay, for our final word, we need an impossible. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercilious. Super Because I don't know what that means. So. Supercilious. <laughs> Super Super S U P E R. S C I L L I E O S Super Supercilious. 
Joe is gay. <laughs> because he says supercilious when he <laughs> makes out with <laughs> Jimmy and dies. <laughs> supercilious. Angel of Death, and that includes five of our condiments. We got Jenna, our girl, Jaron, the guy in the green, Murphy, the guy in the blue, Gino, our black guy, Rashawn, our other black guy. <laughs> so, what we need from you guys, how this game works is they're all gonna be in a situation, and you're gonna give them ways to die. But when they're acting out the scene, they cannot die by the way you gave them. So they have to remember what the other ways to die are and die that way. So the last person standing has to make sure they remember who died how, and they have to get it right, otherwise you guys get to boo them. So, for Ooh. Jenna, how does Jenna die? Joking! Hard! Oh, easy! Hard! Somehow, a Pokemon kills Jenna. <laughs> Jaren? Diabetes! Diabetes! Anna Murphy? Rat battle! A rap battle? Rap battle. Rap battle! A rap battle. For Gino. He's allergic to glass. <laughs> and for Sean. Bottle jam. I heard unicorn. I like unicorn. He dies by a unicorn. Alright, so what we, what we need is an everyday situation. Somewhere you go at least once a week. The bank. They're at the bank. Hey, yo, I'm about to go to the bank, go to the bank, you oh go stank, you flank, you flank, you flank. Hold on, I, I gotta get some money out of it. So let me get some money from my mama. That's what's up, that's what's up. I wonder if and I don't give a fuck. Well, I wanna know if it's gonna help hey, us. Hey, 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 yeah. People are trying to deposit money. Fuck what he talking about. He ain't talking about shit. <laughs> 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 Y'all ain't gonna get no money from me. Y'all ain't gonna get no money from me. Y'all ain't gonna get no money from me. I won, baby. I'm not gonna die to get money, but come. If you just won, by some transit property, you just killed him. No. Oh, he's poor. No, you stay. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you stay here. Okay. Just stay here. Oh, God, I, I got a, I got a big imagination. Oh, I have a he, huge imagination. Oh, okay. no, no, no. I just oh, see something else in his pocket, though. Oh, That's pretty pocket. sweet. Oh yeah, Pokeball. This is fucking oh, sweet. Oh, dude. sweet. Check this out. Fuck this. Oh, Jigglypuff. That's gay. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! Hey! God, does he have any money? <laughs> What's oh, under him now? Oh, hold on. No, lift him up. You killed Jigglypuff. Lift him up. A unicorn! This is so cool! Are these are our seats. Is your face itchy too? No. Oh god, what? <laughs> please yeah. don't say What's nothing's that? happening to you, please. Oh my god. Oh my god, I see hell. I see hell and it's coming for me! It's coming for me! Well, that's unfortunate. Black guy died. I'm still alive. I should be dead. I also should have remembered the deaths. I just. My black fellow. My black fellow. My heart. It's broken! <laughs> hey, here's a candy bar. <laughs> I'm still alive, but the candy bar is my demise. <laughs> you can boo them. <laughs> and what, does anyone remember what he should have died from? Diabetes! Diabetes! <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Alright, our next one. Okay, so the next game we're going to play is called Moving Bodies. And this is for Jaren and Brashad. Now, with Moving Bodies, these guys can't move unless you move them. Tap on the back of their legs, they start walking, and you can put them in whatever what? weird position you want to dent in. So what I need are two volunteers. You and the girl over there. 
Jerry, Becky's gonna control Rashawn. Now, the, these guys can't move unless you move them, so what I need is an everyday situation. Aerobics class. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Aerobics class. <laughs> now, what I need to do real quick is put them in some weird position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go. I am one with myself. That's cool. I'm working my glutes over here, kind of. <laughs> yes. Oh. I gotta take it. This Duh. is... <laughs> Woo! Lord! Oh. Oh, God, I'm in one with the gods. Working the Kegel muscles is great! Oh, yes it is. Oh. Oh. What's up, dude? What's going on? You have hair like Jesus. Thanks. <laughs> I know. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. Flows with the hand mm, strokes. Oh. I love your shoes. Thanks. Mm, thank you. you can only get them if you're crippled like me. I know. <laughs> oh, look, miracle. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus did miracles, you did also. Yeah, you know. Yes. This is, uh. Look at that. Oh. So they're supposed to be sugar in this class, right? Or? It is, but she hasn't come yet. Oh, Which means oh. one thing. Oh. Only one thing. Hey! Bastard! I felt something was happening. <laughs> but now. <laughs> that seems big? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I just... I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that to Just, uh... I just want you to try this dance from, uh, you know, Queen, Mr. Roboto. It's pretty sweet. I think I should smack myself. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This teacher needs to hurry up again. I'm working up a sweat. I'm totally retarded. <laughs> I apologize, man. That's pretty And that's terrible. moving bodies. <laughs> Alright, our maybe last game we're going to give we have enough time is called Don't Laugh, and this involves all of us. And what's going to happen is two condiments are going to come forth and do a scene and a setting that we'll get from you guys. And the goal is the people behind us, they can't laugh. If they do, you need to point them out by the color of their shirt or if you happen to remember their name. Well, if, they, if they do laugh, they come in and replace the person that made them laugh, okay? But they have to keep the same setting. The scene has to be different, but the setting is the same. So, can we get a setting? Oh my gosh, man, just oh, space now, man. The Grand Canyon. Yes. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. Have you ever been on mule rides down here? I haven't. Oh, what a nice, what a nice looking mule. I'm on a horse. I just asked if you had taken mule rides. Oh. Well, I was wondering if they were good. Likely. Depends on how you feel about mules, I suppose. De must be better than this three-legged horse. Yeah. So. Ready, <laughs> girl. No. Blue shirts. Okay, they can like you. You can't call on her. She's already out there. Yeah. Think about you guys. This thing is so huge. I mean. How did it even get this big? This is such a good picture of your mom. I know, right? <laughs> wow. Hey. It's a pretty uh, big hole down there. Yeah, uh, it is. Hey, girl! Big shirt! Big shirt! I didn't even get this quickly through. It doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> So... Oh, God. Um... <laughs> Come here often? Whenever I get the chance. Do you have a, a back problem? Yeah, it's really itchy. Yeah? Blue. You're sure? Blue. 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 Nah, go in there, asshole. Audience is always right. I, I said I wanted to go to a restaurant. The Grand Canyon's not my... It was cheaper rest. because you don't have to pay to go to the Grand Canyon. You just walk there. There's a big old hole you can look at. There's no. I'm broke. I'm food. Sorry. Um, here. 
Eat the scorpion. Oh, oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpions are always funny. <sighs> ah, all this fresh air kind of hurts. I, uh, that's why we should stay inside and play World of Warcraft. Hey, I told you not to go outside because this, it, <coughs> the sun hurts, Jenna. <laughs> You very well when I'm not wearing my glasses the right way. Oh, um, should I? I, 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 uh, um, <laughs> I heard about these mule rides, right? <laughs> and what do you be like? Oh, yeah. She just please walked across the green here. Can you stop following me around the Grand Canyon? I'm sorry. <laughs> <Who's> I <you? laughs> Did you see that dude in the blue shirt just fall into the canyon? Yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same fucking thing. So do, don't do it. It's not worth no, it. Totally, don't jump. It's totally worth it. It's not. What's worth it down there? There's nothing down there. Uh, yeah, dude. That guy jumped off while smoking herb. <laughs> There's still herb down there. <laughs> I'm going. Don't. I'm gonna go dude, eight. you can buy pot down the block for like ten bucks. From a, from a homeless man with a donkey? You don't have to fall down the green. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad you came out for base jumping lessons with hemp rope. Yeah, um, about that, I've done some research, and I don't think hemp rope is the safest. But it's all natural. We're in the Green Revolution, and you're at the Grand Canyon where all dreams come true. Alright, this is our last round, so they have to keep. Bye. Bye. They have to keep complete stone faces. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome to the Grand Canyon where all your dreams come true. Really? I paid 30 bucks for this, and you're. Okay, I've been here since 6 a.m. I've been working here for five years. No one asks me my name. So how about. You don't. How about people don't have to ask you? Is that a little name tag? It says Joe. Can you read? Joe. No one calls me my Joe. Well, because no one wants to talk to you, Joe. Well, all right. Fine. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I pay. <laughs> do, we just, do we still have time? Are we good? You gotta flush the booth. Five minutes? Oh, That's good enough for a one more game, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I can test. Um, I can test. I can test. This involves some people. Ah, oh, you guys will do. <laughs> this is called I Can Test, where these four condiments will try and tell us a story about the first time they did something that will get the suggestion from you, the audience. And there will be two minutes on the clock. Wherever our stage manager is. Oh, you'll do. Okay. <laughs> and, um... So they'll try and tell us about the first time they did something. What's the first Pretty thing? Or a bra! Or a bra! Or a bra! Okay. Uh, can we get two minutes on the clock? And let's start with Joe. Alright, so the first time I wore a bra, I was extremely obese when I was in elementary school. It was pretty awful. Um, and I had very huge boobs. I can test. Yes, Corinne? That's what we already know. If you said that you're huge and. Uh, <laughs> okay, Corinne. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll pull that go. Okay, um, so the first time I wore a bra, I was really embarrassed about it uh, because I was in sixth grade and I didn't think that I needed one. Uh, but I was at the store with my I can test. Yes, you know? She doesn't have boobs now. <laughs> First time I put a bra on, I had just got done jacking off. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I can test. <laughs> I don't, I, no, I can't. <laughs> it's in my head now, and I can't. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, let's hear from you. The first time I wore a bra, I was in about the second grade, and I had gotten lost in my mother's closet. And I, I can test. Yes, Karen? Is your mom's closet Narnia? Oh, I can test. Yes, Joe? You're still in the closet. Oh. Good job. Uh, so I was morbidly obese, and all the kids were making fun of me because I had huge knockers, and they were like, hey, nice titties, fat boy. And so I went home crying to my mom, and I was like, is there anything that we can do that would make them not a saggy. 
<laughs> and she was like, well, kind of, but I don't know if it would really improve your situation. And I said, well, I'm willing to try anything. So we went to J.C. Penney's and I got I a trainer dress. bra. Yes, Jimmy? I also um, A responsible mother would make him work out instead of buying him a, dr- a bra. Okay, yeah. I can Yes, J.C. Penney does not carry good bras. <laughs> Jimmy. So I was in my mother's closet and I, I, I found like all these like weird looking shoes and all these uh, like pants. And then I found <laughs> uh, hanging up was this strange object, yeah. and I wasn't entirely sure what it was. So I, I, I unhooked it. I can test. Yes, what Jeff? is going on with his hands? <laughs> <laughs> is he conducting? Is he Edward Scissorhands? We don't know. <laughs> it's not related to the story. And it's distracting. Okay. Yeah, Gina, what's up? Yeah, I, like I was saying, I put the bra on. But I didn't know if I was going to put it on. I can test. He never said he put a bra on. What? Gino, continue. <laughs> so I thought it was a jock strap, right? <laughs> you know how you jack off, you put a jock strap back on. At least that's what they do while I'm I can test. Yes, Jim. Every time I've masturbated, I never put my jock strap back on. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, 30 seconds. Uh, so I was, I had unhooked the bra and I put it around my head because I thought it was like a hat because it looked kind of like Mickey Mouse ears. I can test. <laughs> yes, Karen. Mickey Mouse ears is not a hat. Mm-hmm. Go, Karen. So, like I said, I was in sixth grade. And I, I can test. <laughs> I also she needs contest. to lose the two. Uh, <laughs> she's kind of mad. Like, why is she mad? Yeah, she's <laughs> mad. Okay, uh, uh, Jimmy. So I put it around my head, and I'm like, ho, 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 I'm Mickey Mouse. And I was running through the house. I can test. He said he was in the closet. <laughs> Go, Jeff. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, uh, I put on the training I can test. Yes, Jim. I, 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 what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he was not prepared for a story. So I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Gina. I put the bra on, and it was hurting. And I, I can put test. Bras don't hurt. hurt. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, I put the bra on, okay. I'm just hitting my booty crack. I, uh, uh, it hurt, it, it hurt. I can test. Lot. Yes, Karen. We know it hurts, you said that three times. Go, Karen. So I, I can was test. Really <laughs> she still doesn't have any titties. 